welcome to the Northern Territory. We are super pumped to be back in the NT. We are heading to the top end, Darwin, Litchfield, Kakadu, all the amazing places that we used to explore, uh, but we haven't been back to for a long, long time. I'm gonna show Daria around because that's where she was born in Darwin. So we're excited to show her that and uh, come along. We can show you all the best local secrets because we used to live there. Alrighty, welcome to Darwin. I'm gonna flip you around. It's chaos, <laughs> dry season chaos. <laughs> kind of forgot how, what it was like here. Um, but yeah, we've come to Parat Markets this morning, Saturday morning, uh, one of our absolute favorite spots in Darwin to come. We used to come every Saturday. Um, we always got a juice and a luxa. Uh, Mary's luxa is the one we used to go to. And of course today she's not here, the one day. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we'll still get a Luxa from somewhere else and give that a whirl. Uh, but funny story, well not funny, but interesting fact for you, this is where um, our photography business pretty much started. So we used to have a store here every Saturday um, and sell, our, sell, sell dentist photography. So every Saturday that was what we were up to here yeah, and that's where the photography business kind of boomed in terms of moving from online through to a physical gallery. So it's awesome memories and definitely put this one on your list. So we're continuing the tradition of uh, laksa and chicken noodle soup at East Point. But there's absolutely like no seating at the market and um, East, East Point slash Fanny Bay is just like a couple of minutes drive so we just drove and this is what we can come and sit out and have this view. <laughs> we used to sit here and it used to be hot drinking and eating hot laksa and soup. <laughs> Hello. This time we're actually in, in Darwin again and we've come to Callum Bay. It's uh, one of our absolute favourites. So, hot tip from us, from us, you know, ex Darwin locals, is Cullen Bay Indian, North Exotica. Um, absolutely spectacular Indian. Well, it used to be, but we're just about to try it out again. So phone order up, order your Indian, get the menu online, take away, come across to the grass picnic area to the Cullen Bay Beach and have a picnic with some sensational Indian food. All right, tell me what we got, General. Mate, everything, nah. <laughs> um... So we got our classics that we loved five years ago, didn't we? Yeah, we got a whole tender of chicken. $19 for a whole tender of chicken. Uh, butter chicken, lamb korma, garlic naan, peshwari naan. And rice. Um, the rice is free, the cucumber rice is free. Yeah. Well, comes because you ordered curry, yeah. Yeah. And is it, was it like, is... It was $63 for the whole lot. It's just like, amazing. And healthy brown. And I've, um, started picking at the first bit of the tandoori chicken and it's as good as I remember. So definitely do this one. Highly recommend it. Alright, 10 out of 10 still? 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. <laughs> Best Indian in Australia. <laughs> so good. We so tried good. a lot of Indian around the place. Yep. And this is both affordable and absolutely delicious yeah and it's just it's so pleasing to know that they haven't changed in five years as well so even got through covid and yeah all of that it's just epic just as good so good 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 highly recommend when you're in darwin exotic north india <laughs> all right we're here on territory day <laughs> territory day is pretty epic you can buy fireworks and light them up it's pretty sick. We're staying with some friends and check out the stash we've all got. Well, can I do some of these? Look at the size of that. Yo! Look at all those fireworks. Yo, can so I, much fun. Can I
So it's kind of the uh, food tour of Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're being civilised, and you know, we when we were coming into Darwin on the drive-in, I was driving, and Amanda started a list, and she just like wrote. What do we want to see and do? Yeah, we just wrote what do we anything miss? we want to eat and stuff in Darwin that we missed. All our favourite places. Most of it was food. <laughs> yeah. We just had all these favourites that we go out to and do over the six years that we did. And we're only here for a short time, so we're like just hitting up all the favourites. And yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously we'll show you some other stuff, but we're also showing our favourite eats. <laughs> this one is um, yeah. Eva's Cafe in the Botanic Gardens. Yeah. They've updated a little bit now. Yeah, there's a massive deck area. This used to be just some umbrellas and a kind of a sandy um, kind of play area. Yeah. A full deck with some um, shelter. And they do cooked, break cooked food now. Yeah. It always used to be just cold food. Yeah. Um, and like platter type food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, it's different now, but it's still, it's still good. good. It's Coffee's so excellent still. Yeah, and the whole environment is just epic being in the botanic gardens as well. It's Surrounded really by like these massive like, trees. trees and stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. So yeah, so good. That's a strawberry, I think. Try it. It's a strawberry. Alright, tell me. Luxa Eggs Benny. Amazing. Really good. Two worlds combined. I took the first bite and I was like, oh my god, that is Luxor, but it's also Eggs Benny. Uh, yeah, it's good. Very, very good. <laughs> I've gone with a um, acai bowl with fruit and granola. Oh, and Aria had a muffin. Strawberry and white chocolate really muffin. Good. And it's really good too. So... Now this is a walk through memory lane. In my first year of teaching here in Darwin, my class of kids actually planted all these plants around this walkway here. So it's pretty cool to come back and see them after being planted as tiny little shrubs to be full grown plants. Something about you is pulling me back and I'm holding after your brunch at Eva's, it's always nice to take a wander through the botanic gardens. Um, you can spend easily a couple of hours walking through the different sections. Um, our favourite is the rainforest section with the waterfall um, and the community garden. It's always nice to see that and how it's going. Um, but they've changed heaps since, um, and improved heaps since we've been here last. There's so much to see and um, yeah, just grab a map and explore. It's great. It's also dog friendly as well. So, um, and so is the cafe. So if you are traveling with your dogs, it's definitely one that you can um, come have brunch with your dogs and then go for a nice walk. Um, it's what we used to do um, back in the day. But yeah, it's so nice. So nice. Just remember a hat. We forgot them. <laughs> The building behind me is a brand new one. Uh, it wasn't here when we were here. Um, it's got an info centre and um, some really, looks like really some awesome information. Uh, it was way too busy in there with like a holiday, school holiday thing. So I was like, eh, went in and had a look around. Uh, didn't stop for long because it was just hectic busy. But um, yeah, popped that one in there to stop in and have a look. Um, looks like there was some really good history there. When you get to the bridge with the water fountains, water fountains on your right, look up to the left, see if you can spot something in the tree. just come out this afternoon um, and um, yeah we're just gonna hang around the waterfront Stokes Hill Wharf kind of tonight and this evening and have the evening off and uh, show you around all 
great. Talk to me. Um, we normally get Thai here, but the Thai's closed for the whole dry season for like a month. I don't know why. <laughs> But it's really good get, Thai. It's really good Thai, yeah. Pad Thai normally. But, uh, so we got... We got Santos because that's all that's here yeah, that's open that we eat. That's Lots not, of seafood. Yeah, heaps of seafood. Yeah. Yeah. But... It's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. good. And it also used to be... I'll flip you around here. Musicians just about to start again. Um, normally, it used to be BYO as well, so you could bring your own drinks, it's but... It's still BYO. It's a no essence. Take that as you will. <laughs> Terrace man. I normally don't do them, but Amanda's insisted. It's pretty huge. Darwin, Stokes Hill Wharf. Check it out. $34 for two adults and one child. So yeah, hopefully it's good. What do you think? I feel like we probably should have done it during the day. <laughs> what do you think, Aya? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Alright, good day everyone. We are exploring East Point and Fanny Bay this afternoon. We're not eating. We're not eating yes. yet. <laughs> We're going to show you, this is one of my favourite spots, one of our favourite spots in Darwin, uh, the East Point Nature Reserve. And especially for photography, it's one of my favourite spots. Um, when we lived up here, we were almost here all the time. every good sunset night, you could find me out somewhere at East Point. It's got uh, water on three sides of it and all different landscapes within it. So rocks, it's um, rocks and beach and stuff. So, and <laughs> yeah, you can always get an interesting photo at East Point. No matter oh. which direction the sky lights up, you can always find something. Now we're going to hit it up with a scooter and unicycle this Arvo. Just do a quick ride around. Show and you. then we're going to head out for dinner afterwards. Yeah, we'll show you the sites of East Point. Yeah. Uh, there's also um, the military museum and... Um, oh, there's a big playground in there too. Yeah. Lake the Alexander you can swim up, at yeah. and playground. And the military museum and like a uh, defence museum thing at the end, which we won't go to, but um, if that's something that you're interested in about like the bombing of Darwin and things like that, it's and the military history, yeah. um, they are really good. We've done them before, but we're just not going to do them today. Yep. Um, enjoy. Let's go. Take two. The uh, Neuron scooters aren't allowed to be ridden up in East Point, which sucks. So we had to take it back, park it, get a mountain bike out. Now I'm on the mountain bike, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go the easy way. There's a restaurant out here at East Point called Pee Wee's. It's um, always been pretty nice. The views are very good. So we recommend it.
All right, that's our last night here in Darwin. Um, and we've come to another one of our favorites, which is the Nightcliff Jetty um, to watch the sunset. We used to come here heaps, photograph and just to hang out and chill. Um, we used to bring the dogs as well when we went for a walk and then watch the sunset. So it's a, definitely one that um, holds lots of memories for us. I'm gonna put a time lapse up for you as well. And um, I'll show you Nightcliff Jen. We're out on the jetty. Beautiful weather, middle of winter in the rest of Australia. <laughs> T shirt, shorts, thongs, sunset. Sunset! Doesn't get much better. One of our favourite spots. Yeah. All right, so really quickly, we've had a really, really short stay here in Darwin. Um, it was meant to be two weeks, um, but the first week of that got taken up with a little operation that Aria had to have. So that meant flights back to Sydney and things like that. Um, and then recovery, then I got sick. <laughs> um, so we haven't had as long of time exploring as what we would have had originally planned. Um, and there's so much here in Darwin that we haven't showed you. So things like, war um there's walks about through the town through the city of war there's um the museum there's fish feeding there's sunset sailboats there's like just, just so much in the city of darwin there's an old jail there's like just epic or amounts the of things refinery pipes and yeah the oil, storage the old pipes. oil storage um there's just honestly so much to do in darwin that um we haven't even shown you like two percent <laughs> yeah we've shown you heaps of places to eat uh when you come but yeah in, things, in terms of things to do um even the crocodile stuff like there's crocodiles cove and all of that like there's so much um so yeah we do apologize for that but you know life just got in the way a bit of this trip so to darwin so um yeah when you come you can always ask us um as well if you um, have any questions about Darwin because we did live here so we do know a lot about the place so if you do um, yeah we might pop, yeah we might pop in our favorites and things um, on a website on the website so um to make up for this lack of exploring in Darwin um, but yeah feel free to comment ask us message us anything about Darwin that you want to know um, and we'll happily answer for you but anyway uh, so tonight's our last night we are going to go to the um, pizza place here at Nightcliff as well which is a wood fired pizza um looked so food busy. truck there was like a 40 yeah. to nine <laughs> yes it's quieted yeah. down <laughs> yep um and hopefully they haven't run out of pizza <laughs> uh but yeah another one of our favorites but um yeah we are heading south from here to Litchfield, Kakadu, Catherine and all of that so there's definitely a lot more of the top end um for us to show you cheers to the end of Darwin ciao